For cheap and reliable MT, head over to AOA.com and use coupon code JACOB for 3% off. What is going down, everybody? It is Jacob. Hope you're all having a good start to your week. Uh, throughout the rest of the year, you know, just doing a lot of videos on the channel, just talking about the game. I mean, you know, I just can't bring it to me to put out a gameplay video. I want to do like bull bull. I really don't feel like editing too much lately for whatever reason and also to top it all off my YouTube channel has been pending monetization for five months now so definitely focus more on Twitch but still gonna come through with quite a few videos just talking about the game because that's something I enjoy doing and you know I like having uh, some discourse with you guys I'm gonna try to be a little better about responding to some comments on here and everything but nevertheless today i want to talk about what i want to see out of my team for like the next two months of the game cycle or even like the next month because i'm not sure they'll be releasing content like into august i doubt they will be i could do like a 2k22 wishlist video um i know my boy jc130 was putting something together like that i'm not sure if he ended up doing it i know i was talking with him maybe about doing something with him and some other people on that but to be dead honest it really doesn't matter because 2k22 is already fully developed and done for the year probably they're close to being most of their ideas are probably already taken care of and everything so we're just gonna go over like what i want to see for the next month out of this game and like the only ways that i can see it keeping any bit of relevance uh, normally at this time throughout the summer and everything on my team, it's like the community that carries the game. It's definitely the same way this summer, things like wagers and just people streaming, making content, collabing, whatever it might be. All that kind of stuff uh, is what keeps the game alive through the summer. But, uh, you know, as far as in-game stuff goes, where do you really go after a week where you drop Invincible Shaq with Gallinari base, Invincible Kareem, Invincible Giannis, Invincible Bull Bull, where do you go from that? Uh, well, two things we know that are coming, or three things that we know that are coming, are Blake Griffin, wherever that's at, I don't know, um, which I don't think is a terrible idea. It was definitely necessary since Luka was like obtainable day one and this is like a 40 week or 40 day season. Definitely necessary they did this, but obviously they got to figure this out. They got to figure out a way to uh, change this challenge around somehow, some way, or else they might as well have just never even done this Blake Griffin card because not that many people will get them. For me personally, selfishly, I don't really care to get this Blake Griffin card. Obviously he's a Pistons fan, not that high on Blake as a person. Um, but I mean, jokes on him. He got bounced in the second round and we got Kay Cunningham. So LOL, I guess. But regardless, he plays point guard power forward. Not really excited to add him into my team at all. Um, not that I'm really excited to add any cards into my team at this stage, but he's not gonna play over Bill Russell. He's not gonna play over Ben Wallace. I'm not even sure if he'd be better than Ben Wallace. And honestly, I just like Ben Wallace better. And he's not gonna play point guard over Simmons or Luka Doncic. But holy shit, my arm's going off. One second, let me go fix that real quick. I apologize. Yeah, that's just the kind of stuff you're gonna get out of videos this time of year from me because I will not edit that out right now. I just couldn't care less. But anyways, yeah, Blake Griffin on the way, not excited for him. He's cool and all, but just not my thing. Uh, it was necessary though. They needed to do something like that. Of course, we know Moses is going to come. He might be cool. Um, Once again, I'm just not going to play him over Bill Russell or uh, Ben Wallace. So it's like, you know, it is what it is. I don't even know if I'll finish out limited. But it's cool that those things are there. At least it's something. At least we're getting something, I guess. Maybe, maybe I kind of have Stockholm Syndrome and just consider anything good at this point from 2K. But it's something. So that's good. And then we'll get one more domination and not really sure how i feel about that either we know that we're gonna get it because there's an objective here to get 594 stars and dom which obviously isn't doable without one more so we'll definitely get one next season and i think that they should make the rewards for next season just like od souped like stupid um just straight silliness because you know we already have 
this. So I, I just think they should make like the rewards for next season, like way crazier than Moses or Blake Griffin, just to keep people engaged. Cause at this point, what's it really matter anyways? They have like normally what, like four more weeks where they drop packs or something like that. They normally drop packs until like August 1st. So they got four more weeks to drop packs. Um, and there's plenty of people that would be ridiculous that they could put for the next domination award, next unlimited reward, next season reward that wouldn't really hit their pack sales that bad because the people that are gonna buy packs this late in the year are gonna buy the packs regardless. Like they're not buying the packs because they wanna have some crazy advantage. The game's almost over, they're just buying packs. They like to buy packs. Um, so like for like Dom, like they should make it like a like an invincible Hakeem that would maybe be worth grinding for because like if they make it something like Blake Griffin for Dom, like people just aren't gonna do it. I can't lie to you, I definitely won't. It's gotta be something kind of crazy for the next Dom. And for Unlimited, like we gotta do better than Drazen. Like we gotta do better. Um, you know, that's something that could definitely be talked about in like a 2K22 wishlist video, but we just gotta do better than draws and simple as that. Like this just isn't even funny at this point. Um, yeah, that's bad, that's bad. You don't need to speak on that. But they need to make the unlimited rewards, season reward, and next Dom war just absolutely juiced. Some ideas I threw out there, like I said, would be Invincible Hakeem. He's not really gonna move packs like that anyways. We already got so many Invincible cards, including Bull Bull that you could really just throw any names out there like invincible like i'd be scared that they're gonna make it like an invincible jaw morant or something like that for dom and like we just ain't doing that in july like it's got to be something that we're gonna be able to play our 15 hours for and like laugh at the card when we get it because it's so ridiculous like bull bull is because or else no one's just gonna do it like nobody's grinding 15 hours offline in july Unless they're, you know, gonna play the game regardless. I try to keep as many eyes on this game mode at all times as possible because, you know, I think it's a good thing for the game. It's a good thing for their money. It's a good thing for everything. Um, it's a good thing for me. You know, it helps with views on Twitch and everything. Um, Invincible Dino would be a good shout. Like, that'd be kind of kind of goofy, you know. Um. I don't know, man. I, I don't know. Just just something just something crazy, you know. Maybe like a nice three hunter like Invincible Pete would be cool. Pistol Pete. And we're gonna probably get an Invincible Yao Ming card that's just souped out of his mind as well. Don't really know how I feel about that. It doesn't really bother me because like I was talking about in my last few videos, I just don't take this game that seriously at this point of the year, so it doesn't really bother me. It's just kind of like whatever. And honestly, I hope they do. I hope they come out with an Invincible Yao because it keeps people at least interested. If you're gonna if you're gonna do this and drop an Invincible Bull Bull, you gotta bring out all the stops to one up it. You don't want this to be the last bang of the year on June 25th or whatever day he came out. And then follow this up with like an Invincible John Morant card that you need 15 hours grinded to get. You want to like follow this up with like more of the same bullshit. Um, it's gotta it's gotta be followed up with more of the same bullshit, and that's just the way the power creep works. So I hope they do because if they start dropping cards like Invincible Jaw Morant, like dudes are just gonna quit playing the game. Simple as that, for better or worse. Like the people that are still on this game will, anyways. If they keep coming out with like cards like Elvin Hayes, like it's just gonna turn people away. Like they, they that, now that we got, now that we got invincible Yao or invincible Bull Bull in the game, like you gotta do better than this. Like every week, just gotta get like almost goofier, goofier. It doesn't need to be unrealistic players. Like invincible Hakeem would be fine. Need to get like an invincible Yao at some point. Um, you know, just these goofy type of players. I wouldn't even be against like another auto position set with like some crazy stuff because at this point What's it matter? You know the card there's already broken cards in the game. You might as well drop more of them Just to keep eyes on the game at this point um, There's something else I want to talk about too. What was it? It was uh Just on my mind a second ago. Oh this idols lock in. Yeah 
because this will be coming. This will be point guard Jokic. Doesn't really matter to me because I'm just not gonna buy this set to be honest with you. Like it's just not gonna matter to me. Invisible Jokic, that's that's good. Invisible Jokic will keep some eyes on the game. It will keep a few people interested. Man, if I could get Giannis for a price like this, you best believe I would do it. I'm recording this video early. Why is that one so much more? This one just probably has like an OD max bid or something. I, I don't know. Why is this one and this one so much more? I'm confused. But I would like to pick up Giannis. Uh, you know. Because why not? I don't really know where he'd fit in the lineup. But when it's been 700k on him in June to play off the bench for me, I'd have to probably start him over Bill. Or even move Bill to the 5 at that point. If I have Bull Bull and Giannis at the 3 and 4, I could run Bill at the 5. But... You know, I'm just not too interested in playing this game at this point, unless it's players lounge wagers for content. That's really about the only thing that's keeping this game alive for me. And the one thing I want to say is, can we just please, please, please just change the TTO court for next year? I know I didn't want to talk about, uh, you know, I didn't want to talk about next year stuff in this video. But it was just something on my mind after that Invincible T-Mac event. And more of those types of events through the end of this year would be great too. I know the Invincible T-Mac was ridiculously hard to see. Probably should have upped the odds on that a touch. Obviously, you can't flood, hit, flood the marketplace with an Invincible T-Max. But events like that will keep eyes on the game too through the end of the year. This dude's on the mic. I'm just not trying to hear this too early in the morning. But the reason why I wasn't grinding for T-Mac this weekend is because... This court is just tough to look at for a long period of time. It really is. Like, this court is not pleasant to look at for a long period of time whatsoever. It's the main reason why I can't play TTO like I did last year. It's something about it. Maybe other people have different sets of eyes. I have a good gaming monitor and everything, so like that's definitely not the problem. Just shoot the ball. Um. I have, you know, it might just be my eyes or something, but I just can't look at this like for a long period of time because I used to play the hell out of TTO last year. I used to play so much TTO last year between the spinners and just like the, the overall appearance of the court and everything and just the way it flowed felt so much better than it does on next gen on 2K20. Uh, it just felt so much better, like ridiculously amounts better. For whatever reason, I mean, I'm sure maybe some of you guys can relate. This just court is just like, it's, it looks cool, but it's not something you want to look at for a long period of time. It's pretty for a second, but then once you play five games on this court, it almost like starts to put you to sleep, but then like occasionally will blind you when you get like the wrong angle and get that little bit of white shining through. So yeah, I didn't want to talk about stuff to like wait on for next year or anything, because that could be a whole different video. But the main reason why I didn't really grind for T-Mac this weekend was because of that. Like, I tried to load up and I play, you know, one board or whatever. And for whatever reason, this court just puts me off, man. It, like, makes me tired, but also blind at the same time. I don't get it. I really don't get it. Just shoot the ball, bro. It's fine. I really don't care. Another thing, too, totally off topic, is it always kind of, like, wigs me out when people say, like, TTO is sweaty because at the end of the day it's a game to 21 so it's like almost impossible to sweat it like you can't really bait lanes on this type of setting anyway so like i don't really know like what people mean when they say tto sweaty i really don't understand what that means like i definitely understand like a sweaty game at 5v5 and like i also understand when it gets like sweaty when it's like 19 to 19 at the end of a game or something like that in tto but i don't really get how somebody can sweat you on tto that never really made too much sense to me because like you know if you're green in shots like that no matter how hard someone's sweating you you're gonna be fine on tto i just it, 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 honestly can someone kind of explain what they mean for that like how tto is like sweaty because like you can't do defensive settings and like press somebody like you can't actually press somebody on this game like on tto so that never really made sense to me when people say TTO is sweaty. Now let's go ahead and give this guy the win. I don't feel like playing this right now. But anyways, guys, I'm going to get out of here. Uh, more videos just talking about the game coming soon. Because like I said, I'm just not in the mood to edit stuff right now. I want to work on a few videos, like a few more of the history ofs. I'll probably do like some more retroactive videos too. Like going over all the vault cards we got this year. Going over all the unlimited cards we got this year. 
I want to do like the history of Michael Jordan in my team, the history of LeBron in my team, like some of the bigger names. I've meant to do that for a long time, but never got around to it. The inside of the mines are probably tucked for the year. And we're just kind of going to post whatever. Because like I said, YouTube's kind of hoeing me with the monetization. So I'm just going to keep posting whatever with really vague titles and uh, just keep having fun with it. So I'll catch up with you guys later.